Costello program brought to you by Camel, the cigarette that's first in the service. Camel stay fresh, cool smoking, and slow burning because they're packed to go around the world. Listen to the music of Freddie Rich and his orchestra, the songs of Connie Haynes. Tonight's guest, the Warner Brothers star, Mr. John Garfield, and starring Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Oh, there you are, Costello. Lead again. Where have you been this time? Oh, boy, yeah, but I had a great time. I just came from a wedding. After the ceremony, I got in line, I kissed the bride. Then I got in line, I kissed the bride again. Then I got in line again, again, again. And then the groom caught me. And what happened? I kissed the groom. <laughs> you know, that groom was a pretty bad guy. He got mad at me because I threw rice at the bride. Well, throwing rice at the bride is customary. Why did he get mad? I forgot to take the rice out of the chop suey. I... <laughs> and he didn't look good in it. Boy, oh boy, Abbott, that wedding sure made me feel romantic. I'm going to find a nice girl, settle down, and I'm going to get married. What? You get married? Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Very few girls would marry you. Very few would be enough. <laughs> How many girls do you think I need? What do you want to do, get arrested for trigonometry? <laughs> Not trigonometry. Uh, when a man has uh, several wives, it's uh, polygamy. When he has two wives, that's bigamy. Now, uh, do you know what it means when a man has one wife? Yeah, that's monotony. No. <laughs> now, look, Lou, not, not monotony. It's uh, monogamy. Do you know what monogamy is? Sure, I got a table made out of that stuff. Salad monogamy. <laughs> no, no. No, you mean, you mean mahogany. Oh, no, that's the name of the guy who sold me the table. Patrick Mahogany. Oh, no. Listen, it is mahogany. It's Patrick uh, Mahoney. Do you understand Mahoney? No, Abbott, that's the title of a song. Mahoney done told me when I was in Nepal. Oh, talk, said, Mahoney done told me. I'm there. No, no, no. It's not Mahoney. It's uh, my mammy. Oh, I've been there too, Abbott. Yeah, you've been where? My mammy, Florida. My mammy, my mammy, Florida. My We're mammy, going Florida. fast. That's get my results. Listen, that's Miami. Oh, Miami. <laughs> that's what I use to clean my sink with. Yeah, no. You mean... You mean Bonami, Bonami. Now you're back to the songs again. What song? Bonami lies over the ocean. Oh. <laughs> Costello, don't bother me. Go over there in the corner and talk to yourself. Oh, I don't want to have it. I get too many dopey answers. <laughs> well, good evening, boys. What's the big discussion oh. about tonight? Hello, uh, Ken. Well, Costello here has been to a wedding and he's talking about getting married. I try to convince him that no girl would even ha consider marrying him. Oh, I don't know, but uh, I think Costello's chances of getting married are very good. Gee, you think so, Niles? Of course. A lot of women are collecting waste fat. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Skinny, what are you hanging around here for? You should be very busy this week. Busy? Why? Ain't this the time of the year when you rent yourself out as a maypole? <laughs> <laughs> what a low and what a skinny guy. Oh, now, that's ridiculous. Niles is very, very attractive to women, Costello, and at least he's got a wife. Ah, oh, my lovely wife. I first met her at a turkey raffle, and it took me two years to win her. Well, uh, what did they do, postpone the raffle? <laughs> you oh, been better I off. heard that remark, Costello. I said it for you to hear. How oh, how dare you talk about my appearance that way? That's right, Costello. Mrs. Niles is very beautiful. Just look at her. Are you kidding? <laughs> Mrs. Niles, I look at your left eye and I keep wondering. Wondering what? I keep wondering what your left eye has that makes your right eye keep looking at it. <laughs> you can talk about my eyes. I'm afraid to look at your eyes. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid a kangaroo will jump out of one of those potches. Uh, <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, all right, all right. a grand slam. Now, wait a minute. Potches. No, all right. Don't it ain't go. bad enough the gags don't go, but we... Wow! All right, look. Don't, don't let Costello bother you, Mrs. Niles. He's feeling a bit spring feverish. In fact, he's thinking of getting married. I don't know, getting married? Yes. Oh, oh, what a picture. Beauty and the blimp. <laughs> a girl would have to be pretty hard up to marry you, Costello. Oh, is that so? You better watch your step, Mrs. Niles, or I'll tell everybody how you got Kenneth. What do you mean? You stood outside of Boys Town and kidnapped him during recess. Now, <laughs> Costello, why must you fight with Mrs. Niles? Now, if you just act halfway decent, she might introduce you to some very lovely little girl. That's right, Costello. I might even introduce you to my sister. Oh, Mrs. Niles. Do you think your sister would go out with me? Oh, I'm sure she would. Haven't you heard? It's Be Kind to Animals Week. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Somebody better laugh. Uh, <laughs> Told him all that last time, fast, dear. folks. I'm in one A. <laughs> you really told him off, dear. You're wonderful. You tug at my heartstrings. Oh no, darling. You tug at my heartstrings. Oh, but I insist. You tug at my heartstrings. Oh no, Kenneth. You tug at my heartstrings. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just heard from a couple of jerks. <laughs> Oh, I'll get it, Pat. Uh, hello? This is the radio reporter calling. What program are you listening to, please? Listen, this is Ken Niles. What program are you listening to? Niles, Niles. Uh, you know, I I'd walk on Niles for a camel. Is your radio on? No, we're on the radio. What program are you listening to? We're not. This is the Abbott and Costello program. Who is the sponsor, please? Camels, camels. I beg your pardon? Listen, if you're looking for a cigarette that won't go flat, no matter how many you smoke, try Camel cigarettes. And you'll remember them because they have more flavor. The result of expert blending of costlier tobaccos. Who is the sponsor, please? Camel. C-A-M-E-L-S. C for Costello, A for Abbott, and T for... There is no T in Camel. Oh, no. T is for your taste and throat, your T-zone. Now listen, sugar. Try Camels in your T-zone. Your taste will save more flavor, and your throat will give you the last word on Camel Cigarette Smooth Extra Mildness. And also sugar. Don't call me sugar, you fresh. Ah, yes. Camels stay fresh, cool smoking, and slow burning because they're packed to go around the world. Well, goodbye now. <laughs> Freddie Ray to the orchestra with an old favorite, I'll Get By. you're doing? What's the idea of whistling out that window? I'm whistling at the girls who are by, Abbott. I'm trying to get a date. You should be ashamed of yourself, whistling at girls. You know you can get your face slapped by, that way. You know that. Sure. Well, remember it. I got it. Well, but I get a lot of dates that way, too. I still have talk sense. You'll never get a date with a girl by whistling at her. Oh, no. One time I got two girls that way. You got two girls by whistling? Yep. And I had a split lip. How did you get the split lip? Two girls were with a Marine. Look, Costello, when you came in here tonight, you were talking about getting married. You can't even get a date with a girl. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I had a, I had a date with a girl last night, Abbott. You know the girl. It's that Bessie Boisenberry, you know, the one who works at the corner drugstore. You had a date with Bessie Boisenberry? Sure. But she isn't all there. There's enough there to have a date with. <laughs> Costello, I see where I'm going to... I'm going to have to take you out. You're going to take me out? Yes. I don't go out with men. I, no, 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 I don't mean that. I'm going to take you out and get you a date with a nice young girl. How's that sound? Good. I, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't have to. Here comes our pretty little songbird, Connie Haynes. Now, look. Now, go ahead. Here's your chance. Well, what'll I say to her? Oh, invite her out for a little refreshing drink. Good evening, boy. Hello, Connie. 
Would you care for a zombie? Mr. Costello, are you proposing? No, I'm inviting you out. You know, like I did last week. Remember? I took you out. We had a Chinese dinner. Yes, and I'll never forget that Chinese dinner. It was the first time I ever ate in a laundry. Costello, how come you took Connie Haynes to dinner in a laundry? Well, I left my shirt there, and I wanted to have dinner on the cuff. <laughs> oh, boy. Very funny. I'm a riot. I know. <laughs> I know a little story about a shirt, too. But I can't tell it. Why not? It's too long a tale. Oh, look. <laughs> All right, look, please, stop enjoying yourself. And cut out the nonsense, Costello. Uh, Connie, Costello really is a nice boy. Why can't you two get together tonight? Gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Abbott, but I already have a boyfriend. You know, John Garfield. John Garfield? What has he got that I haven't got? Mm, nothing. But he's willing to spend it. Well, <laughs> uh, good night, boys. How do you like that John Garfield, Abbott? Cutting in on the people on our show. Trying to steal Connie Haynes away from me. I'll tell that guy where to head in. Oh, you're getting very tough all of a sudden, eh? You bet I am. I've been taking those physical culture exercises through the mail from Charles Atlas. You have, eh? Right. Let me see your muscles. I don't get the muscles till next week. I... <laughs> but I'm plenty strong. I'd like to see Garfield walk in that door right now. I'd tell him where to get off. Hello, boys. I'm John Garfield. Costello, did I hear you say you were going to tell me where to get off? Yeah, where do you live? I live right here in Hollywood. Well, you get off at Sunset and Vine. <laughs> oh, now, Costello, be quiet. Uh, what's on your mind, John? I uh, just dropped in to tell my girlfriend, Connie Haynes, that I won't be able to see her tonight. Did you hear that, Abbott? He won't be able to see Connie tonight. Oh, goody, goody. Just a minute, Costello. Don't ever let me catch you hanging around Connie, see? You're jealous of me, eh, Garfield? Because you know I'll be stiff competition. You couldn't be competition even if you weren't stiff. <laughs> Now, look here, Garfield. I don't like your altitude. And I warn you to withdraw. Suppose I refuse to withdraw. I withdraw. Then I withdrew my warning. Uh, I withdraw my warning. All right, get together, you two. And don't fight, boys. Let's settle this peacefully. Look, I just want to say one thing to Costello. Be smart, fat boy. And stay away from Connie Haynes. (laughs) Is that so? What's the matter, Romeo? Aren't there any other girls in your life? Sure. But there ain't any life in my other girls. <laughs> uh, you look. got the same writer we got? Yeah, yeah sorry. Look, <laughs> look Costello, How please. How come that one got by me? <laughs> <laughs> look, Costello, if Connie is John's girlfriend, just stay away from her. After all, there are plenty of other fish in the sea. Who watched the spooner under the mooner with a tuna? Well, uh, <clears throat> if I catch you with Connie, I will give you a belt with a smelt and ruin your health. You ain't scare me, Garfield. I'm plenty tough. You're tough, Yeah. Right? Why, Costello, I'm so tough I don't shave my beard anymore. I burn it off with a blowtorch. Now, just a minute, fellows. Look, uh... Step aside, no. Abbott. It's no. my turn. <laughs> what do you mean, your turn? Listen, Garfield, I'm so tough that I shave my beard with saddle soap, and then I dynamite the stumps. Now, <laughs> uh, look, I can't stand this anymore. I'll be running along, Abbott, and don't forget to tell Connie I can't see her tonight. And as for you, Costello, remember what I said. So long, bud. Goodbye, stupid. Wait a minute, Garfield. Did you call me stupid? Yeah, I called you stupid. What about it? What about it? Well, someday you're going to call a guy stupid who ain't, and you're going to get in a lot of trouble. Connie Haynes sings a brand new song from a new picture, A Wave, A Whack, and a Marine. We hear Time Will Tell. Time will tell. If only you will stop to listen, time will tell. Just ask your heart to land an ear. Perhaps the moment or two it takes to review a dream of love will be the one after all. To help you recall its theme of love Time will tell It's got a funny way of knowing When the spell, the spell 
setting and the speed is right. A moment ago we were strangers, then suddenly all is well, which only goes to prove that time will tell. miles across the North Channel from Scotland is Northern Ireland and the port of Belfast, long familiar to United States Army and Navy men. To Americans in Belfast, to United States bases and outposts throughout the world, go Camel cigarettes. By the million, by the ton, for camels are first with men in all the services according to actual sales records. Camel cigarettes in Ireland mean fresh camels around your corner. Yes, camels stay fresh, cool smoking and slow burning, because they're packed to go around the world. Both at home and overseas, more people want Camel, the fresh cigarette, the cigarette with more flavor. So remember, if your store is sold out, Camel cigarettes are worth asking for again. Camel cigarettes. Camel's standard of costlier tobaccos is the same for soldier, for civilian, anywhere in the world. When your heart goes bumpity bump, it's love, love, love. When your knees go knockity knock, it's love, love, love. Hey, Abbott, come in here and tell me how I look without a shirt. Hey, look, what kind of an outfit is that? Costello, please. What kind of an outfit is that you've got on? Will you answer me, please? Uh, Where did you get those striped pants? Oh, how do you like them? These are my new Sears Roebuck walking pants. Costello, those pants are too tight. You can't even sit down in them. Who can't sit down in them? What's this? What was that? I think Sears just split with Roebuck. <laughs> Costello, what are you getting all dolled up for? Have it. We are going over to call on Connie Haynes. But uh, what about John Garfield? You heard what he said, Abbott. He ain't going to be there. I'm taking over. Now, wait a minute, Costello. If you insist on going over to Connie Haynes' house, you'd better take her a present. Now, how about that statue of Cupid that you won at the bingo game? Oh, I couldn't give her that thing. A statue of Cupid with a clock in its stomach? Well, what's wrong with that? How would you like to have people look at your stomach and say, My, my, it's half past eight. Oh, <laughs> how time... Fly. Oh, come on, let's get going. Abbott. What? This looks like Connie's apartment. I'll knock on the door. Get away from this door and cut out that noise. I'm trying to sleep. I must have sleep. I've got to have sleep, I tell you. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Who are you? Oh, just a lazy bum. <laughs> Someday I'm going to get a job like that. One laugh, wash up, and go home. <laughs> uh, come on, Costello. Here's Connie Haynes' apartment. Her name's right here on the door. Well, hello, Mr. Abbott. Come right in and bring your little girlfriend. Girlfriend? What's wrong with you, Connie? Abbott? I knew I shouldn't have worn this rose in my hair. <laughs> Listen, Connie, I came over to spend the evening with you. But, Mr. Costello, I told you that I had a date with John Garfield. If he catches you here, he'll be very mad. But, Connie, John stopped by the studio and sa said he wouldn't see you tonight. Well, 
In that case, I guess it's all right for you to come in. Now, boys, what would you like to do this evening? Let's mix. No use uh, wasting time! Now, wait. <laughs> wait a minute, Costello. You forget that I'm here. I only mix with girls. Oh, right. Oh, there's someone at the door. Who is it? It's uh, me, Connie. John Garfield. I didn't have to work tonight after all. May I come in? John Garfield? How do you like that double-crossing rat? Sneaking over here when my back is turned. <laughs> Connie, we've got to do something. You murder Costello. I know what to do. Uh, just a minute, John, honey. I'm baking a cake. If he ever gets in here, he'll crack my frosting. <laughs> now, now, quick, Mr. Costello. Go in my bedroom, put on one of my dresses, and I'll introduce you as Mr. Abbott's girlfriend. Now, go ahead, hurry. I'll let John in. I, I, I don't like to All right, this. all right, all right. I mean, all right. after all, I'm quiet, not... Quiet, quiet. Sort of stuff now. Quiet. I mean, don't, don't... Will don't... you keep quiet, please? Come on, Costello. Get into these things. Here. Put this on first. I don't like this. That's all. Put it on. It's easy, you know. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. It's how you're going to look. All right, never mind that. Put it on. Hurry up. What's this thing? That's a girdle. It's it's a one-way stretch. No good for me. I stretch four ways. I... <laughs> Shut up, please, and hurry. Now, slip this dress over your head. Here. That... Turn your back. All right. right. Here, go on. Ahead. Put it on. Turn your head away. Oh, my hair. My head is turned. At least I, I'm bashful. All right, go ahead. Uh, there you are. There you are. That's it. All right, now. Let's have a go. look. Have all right, a look. Have you a look, look swell. Do I look like a look girl? Yes, yes, yes. Now, are you going to talk like one? Oh, yes, you'll have to. We'll go out in the living room and remember, you're supposed to be a girl. Well, hello, but Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I just brought my girlfriend over, John. I'd I'd like you to meet Miss, uh, uh, um... Oh, my name is Lula Castellanos. Castellanos, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Miss Castellanos. Well, shut my mouth. I'm all from South Patterson. Oh, uh, well, uh, that's swell. Connie, put on some records and we'll dance. Get out that romantic song, Hold That Tiger. Uh, but uh, Hold That Tiger isn't romantic. It is to another tiger. Uh-oh. John, I'll dance with Mr. Abbott and you dance with Lulu. Oh, now, wait a minute. I... Okay. Uh, <clears throat> come into my arms, my proud beauty. Oh, I'm not proud. You're no beauty either. I said you were no beauty either. I heard you the first time. It don't mean a thing. <laughs> Say, now you've got the same writers I got. I guess so. <laughs> by the way, Lulu, do you rumba? Only when I eat radishes. <laughs> you know, uh, you know you're kind of cute, Lulu. Here, let me hold you a little closer. Closer. Oh, cut it out. <laughs> closer. There. Oh, John. That's close enough. It should be. You're breathing in my back pocket. <laughs> pocket? I never had a heard of a girl having a back pocket. Well, we seven girls have to have some place to carry our corn home. <laughs> now, go ahead, John. You dance with Lulu, and I'll go out and see how my cake is coming along. But I think I'd better dance with Mr. Rabbit. He's the man that rung me. Oh, oh, that's all right, Lulu. I, I, I'm not jealous. Go ahead and dance with John. Are you kidding, Abbott? Go ahead. Get me out of this, will you? Go ahead. It's Come all on, right, Lulu. Let's cut a rug. <laughs> <coughs> Lulu, dear, what is that noise? Uh, that was my garter. It's a long pull from my girdle to my bobby sock. <laughs> you know, um... You know, I like you, Lulu. You have such a nice figure. Oh, do you really think so, John? Yes, you have such a nice little chummy. Chummy? Yes, a combination chest and tummy. <laughs> well, you two seem to be getting along fine. I think I'll go out in the kitchen with Connie. Oh, good. At last, Lulu, we're, we're alone. That's what I'm afraid of! Well, let me crush you in my arms. Mother told me there would be nights like this. What's the matter with you, Lulu? Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Lulu, what's the matter? You have no warmth. What do you think this is, puppy love? It must be. Your nose is so cold. <laughs> Please, Lulu. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Please, Lulu, can't you see the light of love dancing in my eyes as I draw you to me? Don't you feel a spark and a fire? Yes, I do feel a spark and a fire. Is it love? No, your camel cigarette is sticking in my ear. <laughs> you can't deny me any longer, Lulu. Let me kiss you. No, no, John, not today. Please, Lulu, just one kiss. No, no, John, not today. Lulu, why do you keep on saying not today? 
Because today I am a man. Get him out of here. Evan Costello will be back in just a moment. Thanks to the Yanks of the Week. Tonight we salute Private William J. Crawford of Pueblo, Colorado, one of the infantrymen storming Hill 424 near Altaville, Italy. When the men were held up by three German machine gun nests, Private Crawford went ahead on his own initiative and in the face of deadly crossfire from the three guns. One by one, he picked off the German machine gunners with his rifle, finally silencing all three enemy positions and permitting our troops to advance. In your honor, Private William Crawford... The makers of camels are sending to our soldiers overseas 300,000 camel cigarettes. Each of the four camel radio shows honors the Yank of the Week, sends 300,000 camel cigarettes overseas, a total of more than a million camels sent free each week. In this country, the traveling camel caravans have thanked audiences of more than three and a half million Yanks with free shows and free camels. Camel broadcasts go out to the United States four times a week, a shortwave to our men overseas and to South America. Listen tomorrow to Gary Moore and Jimmy Durante. Saturday to Bob Hawk in Thanks to the Yanks. Monday to Blondie. And next Thursday to Abbott and Costello with their guest, Miss Claire Trevor. And now here's Abbott and Costello with an important message. Thanks, Jen. Folks, we don't have to tell you the main reason for buying more bonds. In fact, we know that you would give your money if you could bring our boys home sooner. That's right, Abbott. Besides that, folks, war bonds are a great investment. They pay $4 for every $3 you invest. And don't forget, too, that when you buy war bonds, you invest your money with the safest corporation in the world, the United States of America. Yes. Give yourself and give America a prosperous post-war future and buy war bonds regularly. Just remember this, folks. Those of us who can't go over should at least come across. Good night. Good night, folks. Good night, neighbors. Be sure to tune in next week for another great Abbott and Costello show with our special guest, Miss Claire Trevor. John Garfield will be seen in the Warner Brothers film drama Between Two Worlds. And remember, get camels for more flavor. If you're looking for a cigarette that won't go flat no matter how many you smoke, get camels for more flavor. This is Ken Niles wishing you a very pleasant good night from Hollywood. Mr. Pipe Smoker, do people ask you if you're smoking rubber boots? Don't let them do that, man. Get Pipe Appeal with Prince Albert. Yes, sir, when that pleasant aged-in-the-wood aroma of Prince Albert starts curling off your pipe, you'll get smiles instead of wisecracks. And, mister, you'll smile yourself when you discover that Prince Albert's no bite treated to give your tongue a holiday and crimp cut to pack and burn and draw just right. Get a big red two-ounce package of Prince Albert's tomorrow. Holds around 50 rich-tasting, swell-smoking pipe bowls. You'll see why more pipes smoke Prince Albert than any other tobacco in the whole world. This is the National Broadcasting Company.